Good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are on this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers guys, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, I am the father of this family that three years ago sold everything they owned. Their house, their cars, their companies, their shoes, literally everything went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, three years later guys, I'm coming to you from Alicante, Spain, just outside of Alicante, a beautiful area called Hondon de las Frayes. We are now staying here with the parents-in-law and the next couple of weeks I will be talking to you about Bitcoin, blockchain and life from this beautiful area surrounded by almond trees, olive trees, palm trees and many other beautiful fruit trees that are providing me of fresh fruit and limoncello every day. In today's video, we are going to talk, of course, about the Bitcoin price. We are going to talk about the Ethereum price. Of course, I'm going to take a look at beautiful charts, but also taking a look at the competition of Bitcoin. Or to be clear, they believe they are competition of Bitcoin because Google Pay is now launching this beautiful user interface where you can connect to your bank, showing you exactly what the bears are expecting in the market, showing you exactly what the bulls are expecting in the market, and of course, showing you what will happen to Bitcoin if you will see the same kind of hyperinflation we saw in the early 70s. I'm also going to show you these beautiful two dogs in this video today because they belong to my parents-in-law. Enjoy today's video guys! Hi guys, where am I walking at the moment? That's a good question. I am walking on the driveway of my parents-in-law. We flew to Spain yesterday. It was a flight of two and a half hours from Düsseldorf Weze all the way to Alicante in Spain. Yesterday evening we arrived and today I'm going to make the first video here in this beautiful area in Alicante. I still need to figure out where I will do my daily walk. So I am just going to search for a beautiful part where I can talk to you daily about blockchain crypto and life uh, while I show you beautiful views of this area of course also taking you the next couple of weeks to beautiful spots in the area of Alicante where I will show you different places in Spain and yes of course also going to taste the limoncello the tapas the paella and the sangria of Spain and I will share of course with you what I think about that Spanish food the Spanish culture and much more we are sleeping at my parents-in-law. It's a beautiful house. They have a house with a pool. We are sleeping in the camper. The kids are divided between two bedrooms. Juna and Jess in one, Julie in one. We sleep in the camper. It's a beautiful house surrounded with a lot of almond trees. You can see all the almond trees around us. <coughs> it's a beautiful area. I am going to walk all the way up there so I can show you this area from a higher point of view. My parents-in-law also own a lot of almond trees, so these almond trees will be harvested next week. So I am able to show you how the harvesting of almond trees will go as well. To be very honest guys, it feels amazing to be in Spain again. I think it's the weather, I think it's the energy much more. I love to visit my brother and sister and I'm already missing my nephews and nieces, of course I do. I don't know what it is exactly, but these sunny countries just give me way more energy. The flight yesterday was pretty good. Uh, it was by Ryanair, cheap airlines, of course. I still need to get used to these mouth masks because, man, it, it's like I can't breathe with these things on my face. I don't like them. I try to avoid wearing them as much as possible. Uh, yes, I know many of you will say now, Didi, that's very selfish and egoistic. But I just don't believe that these mouth masks are helping. I think everybody will get this flu. And like always, some people will die of the flu. Some people will survive the flu. But of course, I respect everybody's opinion. And I just hope everybody is respecting my opinion as well. In Spain, by the way, I think you need to wear these mouth masks as well in stores. Uh, we just arrived. I still need to figure out how it works here, but we will see. It's a pretty steep climb. Wearing flip-flops is not the most smart thing, but I just love to wear these flip-flops. While I walk you to the top, going up, I will talk you, I will talk to you about Bitcoin. 
did you see the news that Bitcoin's market cap is now bigger than Intel's and Coca-Cola's market cap? Bitcoin market cap is now above 205 billion US dollar. Intel's market cap, for example, is 203 billion US dollar. And Coca-Cola's market cap is around 202 billion US dollar. So the market cap of Bitcoin is now bigger than Intel and Coca-Cola. These kind of news items, guys, are making me think about 217 all over again. Same news items. Whoa, Bitcoin is surpassing Coca-Cola, is surpassing Intel, is surpassing all these huge companies' market cap. And now we see this again. Makes me think, well, I'm sweating again for you guys, that we are just up front of an insane bull run. But let's take a look at a few charts so we can see what the charts are telling us. Let's first take a look at the bearish side. Um, let's use this chart for this one. Bam, this chart. You can see that the bears are expecting Bitcoin to drop all the way down to 9,700 before we go up again. And why? Because the bears think we need to fill the CME gap that was created around that area. But like I always say to you guys, if you look to the left on the chart that way, you can see there was an CME gap as well in 2019. And we just filled this gap. So we filled this gap a year later than the gap was created. If you look on the chart on the left side, it's this small green box. In this small green box, you can see there was a gap. And this gap was just filled when Bitcoin peaked to 12K last couple of days. So it is not like a fixed rule that the CME gaps need to be filled like in two days or in a week or in a month. It's completely open. It can even take a year. So in my opinion, we are not going to fill the CME gap the next couple of weeks. In my opinion, we are going up. We are going to go to 12K. We are going to go to 13.5K. We might even see 16 to 18K if we keep following the fractal I showed you a few days ago in that video. Almost at the top, yes, heavily breathing, sweating. Um, it's a little bit, how do you call it? No, it's very warm, it's not humid, but it's like, wow. I now have an amazing view. Okay, that climb was worth this view, beautiful. It's very cloudy, so the view is not like, very open but it's that cloudy that you can even see the clouds hanging over there and the rain is falling out of the clouds no one knows how high is too high no one knows how low is too low beautiful isn't it no the sea is somewhere how over there the parents of my live over there no one it's a very beautiful area no to explore the next couple of weeks I think you will enjoy the next couple of weeks videos because it's going to be very beautiful to see me sweat again while talking to you about Bitcoin and But to get back to the story guys, so every time you hear people talking about the CME gap we need to fill, you can see on this chart that we don't need to fill the CME gap right away. We can even fill it in like six or months or a year. So again, my opinion, the chance to, that we visit 13.5K in August is way bigger than we visit the CME gap we created. And that is exactly what the bulls are expecting, guys. The bulls are expecting that if we break the resistance around 11,700, because this is a very strong resistance, and if we break this resistance, we will take Bitcoin all the way up to 12K, even 13.5K. Or like I already said many times in all the videos, if we would retrace to these Fibonacci retracement levels, we could even retrace all the way back up to 16K or 18K US dollar Bitcoin price in the next couple of weeks. Also guys, when we look at this chart, bam, this is the monthly Bitcoin chart. On this monthly Bitcoin chart, you can see we are now acting above the Ichimoku cloud. I think this is a very bullish sign because you can see that always when we act on the monthly chart above this Ichimoku cloud, it will take a long time to close below the Ichimoku cloud. 
So I think this Ichimoku cloud will become greener and bigger and the next couple of months we will see Bitcoin price above the Ichimoku cloud, which will push it all the way up again to a new all-time high in the next 12 months. I'm almost reaching the all-time high of today here on this hill because then I'm walking back to my parents-in-law to eat some breakfast and have tasteful coffee. And while talking to you guys about this beautiful sunny country, Spain, it starts to rain. Um, yes, it's a cloudy day. If we look at the weather charts, uh, yes, I also look at other charts than just the Bitcoin and other crypto charts. But if we look at the weather charts from tomorrow again, it will be completely blue skies. So today we will have some rain, which is really cool because we can get used to this very hot temperature here. Oh, okay, now in Spain. Uh, in the Netherlands, it was way cooler, way colder. So we can get used to this very warm weather in Spain. Fuck. And of course, I just hit my stove to a big stone. I should have listened to my father-in-law who told me to wear some shoes because it's rocky and it's slippery. And of course, now I heard it my toe. I'm not going to tell him. Hopefully he doesn't watch the video because then he knows. <laughs> I'm walking back guys because it's going to rain a little bit. I will talk to you about the Bitcoin news a little bit more. Going downwards because that will be a little bit lighter than going upwards. I can't go more up here. I can see some very high hills around me. Yes, I always want to climb these top of the hills. So yes, I'm also going to climb these top of the hills in the next couple of weeks. I want to see how it feels to be on top of that one over there. I want to see how it feels to be on top one of that one over there. So. Of course, I'm going to visit them wearing some shoes instead of flip-flops and then show you these beautiful surroundings here in Spain. By the way, guys, I have another chart with a fractal that shows us that if we are going to follow this fractal, we are going to see this Bitcoin price around 12K very soon as well. This chart, bam. On this chart, you can see this eerie fractal that where you see this drop downwards, we go up again, we go sideways, and then from the sideways movement, we go all the way up again. This is a price movement we already saw in Bitcoin before. So if you would repeat this fractal, a fractal is a repeating pattern. If you would repeat this fractal, we would see Bitcoin around 12K very soon because we already had the drop, we already bounced up, we already went sideways. So the next step in this fractal is going bam up to 12K. And of course, guys, Ethereum also has some amazing news because now 90% of the Ethereum hodlers is in profit. Yes, 90%, same percentage as Bitcoin. There's a very small percentage of Ethereum hodlers that bought Ethereum between 630 US dollar and 1340 US dollar. Yes, that was the top of Ethereum, 1340 US dollar. But this percentage is very small. I think the total amount of people that bought Ethereum higher than 380 US dollar per Ethereum is about 8%. So this means that 92% bought Ethereum lower than the current price. So 92% of the Ethereum hodlers is in profit. So probably we are seeing many happy faces in crypto space because most of the people that are in crypto space are in it to make money and not for the true fundamentals. So when they are in profit, they will be happy. I am also happy because I'm also in profit, but I'm also happy that the true fundamentals of Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies are becoming more clear and clear to everybody out there and people start to understand the true power of Bitcoin and blockchain. And yes, of course, the competitors of Bitcoin need to create alternatives. As you can see now, Google Pay announced that they are going to work together with bank accounts. What are they going to do? They are going to create a user interface in Google that allows you to do transactions and everything you normally need to do from the bank's user interface. So they are going to connect Google Pay to the bank's interface, overlap it with a beautiful Google Pay user interface. So it looks like you have this whole new payment app, but of course you're just uh, using the bank accounts by using a different interface. A very beautiful spider. I don't want to break his web. I show you. I'm going to walk around this web. I don't want to break his beautiful structure. Can you imagine I was only focusing on the camera and walking on this 
beautiful path and then crossing that web and have this spider which was exactly at the height of my ding dong how do you call this in England in a very nice way <laughs> so the spider would be exactly around this area then and then you just are in shock because it's a black widow and it bites you in the top of your penis and you die with this beautiful view of Spain Didi what kind of thoughts do you have in your head sorry guys for my strange thoughts maybe I need to become a writer of these thriller movies or these horror movies where these spiders attack human beings with dogs together and eat them on the hills in Spain because these dogs really don't like me they keep barking they keep disturbing my video so I will record the rest of the video and I will have passed these dogs you can completely understand what I am saying and just like the CME gaps is created in the Bitcoin charts I just created this gap in the timeline of where I'm walking because I need to pass by these dogs so this is what we call a doggy gap yes we just passed by the dogs I still need to find the path where I need to walk somewhere ah, we'll see I will get there I left you guys I think at the competitors that were creating an alternative to Bitcoin and to the cryptocurrencies oh yeah Google Pay Google Pay now is working together with these banks and creating this beautiful user interface that um, that looks like you're paying with Google Pay but you're still using your bank account of course this is a really cool thing that they are developing because they are cutting away the middleman but then again how does it work with the privacy because Google already knows so many things about you guys and now they want to know also everything about your finances I don't think this is a competitor to Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies which exactly are focused on keeping your privacy so I don't think it's a real official competitor to Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies but it's a competitor to PayPal and to all these other companies that provide payment solutions other than a bank so to be clear in my opinion it's not a competitor to Bitcoin because it has nothing to do with privacy it does have nothing to do with blockchain it has has nothing to do with creating a honest open economy for everybody in the world to join it has nothing to do to give everybody access to the monetary system also those people that don't have a bank account that is why I'm in this industry for the true fundamentals we need to give people access to the monetary system if they don't have access to a bank account as well all these people around the world that don't have access to a bank account now have access to the monetary system just by using a telephone and to be completely clear this new Google project with the banks you can only use this when you have a bank because the Google user interface is going to be connected to your bank account it's not even close to the revolution Bitcoin is creating for our world it's just another way of paying with money like PayPal or debit cards or credit cards. Bitcoin is completely different. Bitcoin is going to give access to the monetary system to all the people around the world that are unbanked. This Google interface, you need to be banked to use it. So be aware that you understand the difference between these projects and Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrency that is fully decentralized and again the monetary system that we already have that is built on the banking system is printing a shitload of money every day and some people understand exactly what this is going to lead to like Ari Paul Ari Paul just did an interview with Cointelegraph where he stated people if we keep printing money in this fast way we are going to create hyperinflation because there will be a point in the future that the Fed the Federal Reserve needs to decrease the value of the dollar to be able to repay this huge this insane sovereign debt and when this is going to happen and this dollar is being decreased in value we will see a huge hyperinflation like we saw in the early 70s and when we will see this huge hyperinflation that we saw in the early 70s a lot of wealth is going to be transferred into inflationary resistance currencies like gold or silver at that time but now we can add Bitcoin to it so Ari is saying if we will see the same amount of hyperinflation we saw in the 70s gold could go all the way up times 10 and Bitcoin even times 30 so this is like 3000 percent from where we are now so I fully agree with Ari on this I fully agree that we cannot just unlimitedly keep printing this shitload of fake money just to stimulate the world and the economy because there comes a time we need to pay back our debts 
And of course, the game is always the same, that when governments need to pay back their debts, they will decrease the value of fiat so they can pay back the debts. This was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed this new surrounding here in Spain. I'm going to share many more beautiful surroundings in Spain. I still need to get used to all these places where I can go, but I think this is a beautiful path to share my visions about blockchain, Bitcoin and life every day. If you did like the video, guys, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your communities, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment because I love to reply to your comments, guys. Thank you for watching this video and like I always end the video you need to remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow again. Bye.